5200 total value and no monthly payments until 2024. Labor Day is one of the biggest furniture shopping weekends of the year. And Jerome's is home to the biggest Labor Day event ever. Right now, our Brooks Manual Reclining Sofa is only $9.99 and get the love seat free. Our Camino four-piece bedroom set, queen bed, dresser, mirror, and nightstand, only $9.98. Plus your choice. We pay your sales tax or get 60 months no interest. Spin to win. Everyone's a winner. The best Labor Day event ever is going on now at Jerome's. The Chase Inc. Business Premier Card is made for Sam, who makes everyday products designed smarter. Genius! Like 2.5% cash back on purchases of $5,000 or more, so Sam can make smart ideas a brilliant reality. Chase for business. Make more of what's yours. A car accident can shatter your world. But at Jacoby & Myers, we want to help you get back to where you were before. Advocating for you. Taking on insurance companies, hospital bills, medical care, Whatever you need to get back to the life you love. Jacoby and Myers has championed the hardworking people of California for over 50 years and won more than $2 billion in settlements. Jacoby and Myers, because everyone deserves justice. Family meal starting at $24 only at El Pollo Loco. Good morning. I'm Frank Buckley. Dodgers manager Dave Roberts addressing the arrest of Julio Urias, the star pitcher facing domestic violence charges. We'll have the latest on that just ahead. Good morning, I'm Annie Rose Ramos. An arsonist on the loose here in Long Beach after setting multiple cars on fire. Coming up, why the fire department is asking for your help in identifying the person who they believe is connected to this case. Good morning, I'm Lena Bovian. We are live here in Burbank and we're talking about the flu vaccine with flu season right around the corner. What CVS Pharmacy is now offering, that's next. Good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes. A popular tourist destination will become the first city in the world to char charge some visitors a fee. We'll explain. Good morning, I'm Sam Rubin. No fee here and new at 8 o'clock. Mick Jagger talks about new music. Aerosmith talks about a final farewell tour. And Scott Movie Mance, back from Telluride, talks about movies that are going to get awards attention. It's all coming up. And uh, some overcast skies starting out this morning. Most areas will just go to partly cloudy skies, not brilliant clearing, but some other areas will get a lot of sun. Uh, temperature's still a little bit on the cool side, but after that, things will start to warm up heading into the weekend. 73 coastal, downtown Los Angeles, 79. San Fernando Valley up to 82 degrees. High Desert, 88. Inland Empire, 89. Orange County, Inland, all the way up to 81 degrees. So let's go to Ginger with traffic. Yeah, we do have a couple things going on, and some of these wrecks are pretty serious sounding. We're going to put this one, the 405 South at Sepulveda Boulevard, the one that's in the Sepulveda Pass. You know, it's a four-car wreck and a motorcyclist with possibility of some injuries. That is a real Really busy spot even when there's nothing in lanes everybody's stopping here in fact it sounds like just the carpool left lanes are blocked I think some additional lanes are going to be shut down here because you can see some of the heavy slowing that is starting to form look at that 101 at the top oh my gosh horrible in both directions that's a real tight squeeze and nothing in those lanes I want to recheck to make sure there is nothing 91 West at the 241 it's another motorcycle wreck this one jam it up those two right lanes and this is that spot the drive really starts to improve, you know, on a normal commute day with this sitting in those lanes. That's really not going to help. And now you see it. It's going to be a busy right here. A little bit of that cloud cover we saw earlier from one of our cameras. And that will only add to some of the slowing that is already starting to form on that fairly busy stretch of the 91 freeway. We'll watch and keep track of all these things. I'm really hoping none of these will turn into sig alerts. I'll send it back to you. Ginger, thank you. Police in Long Beach are looking for a person of interest after several cars were set on fire. Most of them were at one apartment building. Some tenants say they're planning to move. KTLA's Annie Rose Ramos, live in Long Beach with the latest. Annie Rose, good morning.
Hey, Frank, good morning to you. That's right, five separate incidents of arson, but three of them happening right here at the Camden Harbor View Apartments. And Frank, the way this works is that the garage is actually located underneath the buildings that you see here behind me. And we have video of the latest fire where you can see one of those cars set on fire in the garage right here at Camden Harbor View Apartments in Long Beach. You can see there, this is the latest car, white